People of the interweb, it's Pete with Backdraft Bikes. I hope you're having a good day, but you're gonna have an even better day after you watch How to Change the Oil in the Pan America. First things first, you have to get a few supplies ready. So over here, I've got my supplies. Four quarts of oil. Now, this is the tricky part. It's a very funny oil that you need for your bike. You actually need 15W50. That's like diesel truck engine stuff. And obviously it needs to be 4T because of the fact that you have clutches running in this oil. With that being said, I picked these up at the local Harley Davidson dealership because I could not find them anywhere else. And they couldn't even get the Harley oil. So we went with Bel Ray, which is an awesome brand of oil. You do need an oil filter. And again, this is specific to the 1250 motor. So there isn't a lot of interchangeability with these. I had to buy the Harley Davidson one, but it wasn't that expensive. Uh, it's just a generic oil filter. I'm sure there'll be aftermarket uh, ones coming out soon. And as far as tools go, ah, you know, I haven't had an American bike in a long time. It's finally nice to be able to use a half inch socket and not a metric job. So you need a half inch socket, one of these Torx bits. Last but not least, you need some sort of plier apparatus to remove the oil filter. I gotta tell you one thing, I'm really impressed at how easy this bike is to service, but there is a little bit of a drawback, which I'm scratching my head and say, Harley, why would you do that? But nonetheless, I'm gonna take you through this. So get on the ground and you're gonna come down here and you're going to see Lee Old skid plate. There's four bolts, one, two, three, and four. Also, there are two bolts on the side of the skid plate. There's one on this side and one just on the opposite. We're gonna loosen those up to allow the skid plate to pivot down. Once you have the skid plate loose, gently allow it to tip down this way and this will give you good access to your oil filter and it will allow you to drain it out. Coincidentally, you could remove these two bolts and remove the skid plate totally, but we don't really need to do that because that's extra work. Once we have the drain pan down just a little bit, which you don't really need to do again, like I said, I actually had to get a smaller drain pan because of the way the center stand is situated. You're gonna use your half inch socket wrench and this is gonna allow you to access the drain plug. It seemed kind of a precarious situation with the center stand the way it is when it's deployed. So just be careful, that's all. Once you have the drain plug out, make sure to take your clean rag and wipe down these have a magnetic tip on them so they'll gather metal filings. You want to make sure that's clean. And the O-ring that's underneath it, also give it a little twist and make sure that that's clean. This has been riding down in the dirt for a long time. You can see how nice and shiny it is now. Once it's done draining, just tighten up that drain bolt. Harley says to tighten this to 15 foot-pounds according to the manual. So with a 3 8 ratchet, you just want to snug it up. Once you're done, Draining all the oil out of here, you gotta pull off your oil filter. So let me show you how to do that. Next thing you wanna do, slide your drain pan into place. Because if you don't use a funnel, you're gonna make a huge mess. Then you're going to take your oil filter pliers and being very careful not to grab the center stand switch you're gonna grab the oil filter and twist it off. Once you get it loose, you'll get your funnel in place because it's gonna to wanna to drip oil all down the skid plate. Next thing you wanna do is take your new oil filter and dip your finger in the oil and just lubricate the filter housing so that this will come on. Next, take a clean rag and wipe the surface off where the filter is going to make to the engine. Make sure this is nice and clean. This is an adventure bike, they get a lot of dirt on them. And we're gonna take this filter and we're gonna screw it in. Once you get it pretty snug, go about another half a turn, which should be about as tight as you can get it with, one, with your hands. Then we're gonna just reinstall our four skid plate bolts with the T40 Torx bit. I'm now gonna add oil. Per the Harley owner's manual, it tells us that we can do three quarts of oil and then start the bike for 10 seconds and then check to make sure there's no leaks. One of the cool things though I will tell you about checking the oil on this is that 
there is a side marker if you have the bike on the jiffy stand and there is another marker on the other side if you have it on the center stand like I do now. So that is pretty cool. But of important note, to check the oil oven list, you must tighten this down all the way. This isn't just an untightened wipe, stick back in and pull out and look. You actually have to put it in and tighten it to get the correct oil level. So let's go ahead and add those three quarts. Now check for leaks, especially around the drain plug and around the bottom of the oil filter. I don't see any leaks, so we'll go ahead and top it off the rest of the way. So we got all the oil in, everything's all changed up, and it's ready to rock. No leaks. It's a little tricky when you get up to the third quart because the oil goes in really slow, so take your time. Also, another pro tip for you. The oil filters, when installed from the factory on pretty much every bike I've ever owned, come out super duper hard. So just be prepared to really work at it to get it out. Until next time, I hope you ride safe, and I hope this video helps you keep your Pan American on the road. Yeah.